All right, so I recently had a request to run a hard map, uh, 78 plus, on my Yona character, so I'm going to do that. So this one we got shocking ground, animals, magic monsters, monster damage, and boss damage. So we have to watch our footing, um, and yeah, I'm going to put on the armor flask instead of the anti-flame flask uh, for this map. So we got surgeon's granite flask of iron skin, surgeon's turn of life flask of heat, surgeon's quick sword flask of staunching. Seeding Divine Life Flask of Staunching and Surgeon's Topaz Flask of Grounding. I will use the, the Topaz Flask and the Granite Flask to tank the boss. We are going to use Kingsguard. We're going to leave our Lightning Coil in the stash. Okay? This is just to demonstrate tankiness and I guess high level play. So, there we go. Also, uh, it's in situations like this, um, typically. I mean, I may not even need to run Blood Rage just to keep myself from uh, taking some extra damage. So you don't necessarily even need to run Blood Rage at all. Alright, here we go. Um, I'm just going to turn on Tempest Shield. What the? There we go. Just gonna not run Blood Rage because it makes things a little simpler for tanking wise. And I mean, you can run it if you want. It's uh, just a matter of preference. I've, I've been I've been leveling, and I have no intention of dying on this map. I wasn't streaming, I probably would run Blood Rage, honestly, but no, no big deal at all. It doesn't really affect the DPS that much, believe it or not. Another thing that you can u um, use if you're ever afraid of any monsters on, on a map is you can use the uh, superior lob range of the Molten Strike projectiles to avoid getting into direct melee combat. Ironically, I have messed around with Wild Strike, and it actually works pretty well. It's not very good against single targets. I saw that gem on there, maybe want to talk about it. To watch our spacing a little bit because those flame bears are actually quite dangerous. First sign of Goatman. I cannot carry this. I'll finish looting once the end of the map is done.
As you can see, we have no problems with DPS on the 78 map. Well, that was a, uh, pretty net hard hit, uh, from, uh, Volatile Blood there, but not, but not bad. And we got a 78. Nice. Alright, boss time. Alright, so, again, I'm going to keep the topaz up almost constantly. I can see there, and he's into phase two. We had a few close chunks there, but no problem, even with stacks, monster damage, and stacked boss damage and attack speed. I'm gonna keep myself bleed immune here. And that's that. 78 map with monster damage, shocked ground inhabited by animals, and boss damage and attack speed complete. The hardest part of that boss is always the first phase because it's potential burst damage, and I face tanked it. Yes, it was close. He had a couple good hard crits, but uh, no problems. We were restore our life quickly and efficiently with our flasks. So that is that for the map run, um, for the demo uh, that someone uh, requested. Uh, again, if you want to take less damage from a boss like that, you can you can equip your, uh, your lightning coil and run your purity of lightning and the boss will be much less of a problem. I just wanted to demo and show that you you can indeed tank situations like that while wearing Kingsguard.